reporting the damage seen here and keeping track of it here. Copy, thank you. Lieutenant Seth James with the Greenville City Fire Department is working at the Greenville County Emergency Operations Center to coordinate response efforts through the Search and Rescue Common Operator platform. Our responders in the field use an app called Quick Capture. They're able to collect damage observation on structures. They're able to collect uh, routes that's blocked in live time. They're able to collect any information uh, about any people they've assisted, rescued, uh, or especially people that we have to shelter in place. The SARCOP program makes a note of every incident, giving crews coordinates to get back to those in need. So this is every route that was reported blocked. Urban search and rescue teams from across the country are assisting with recovery efforts, including Louisiana Task Force 2 and 3 and California Task Force 5. So back in what we affectionately call the dark ages, your data was always 12 to 24 hours behind because as crews would come in, they would you would get a debrief from them. You would then have to take a, a GPS unit, take those points, import them into a computer, then put those back on the map, and then send crews back out the next day. Now they're getting data in real time. Um, and so if we find an area that's more critically hit, then we can start moving, shifting resources to get that area taken care of effectively. At the start of Tropical Storm Helene, more than 1,500 waypoints were noted throughout the city of Greenville. Now those points are down to 150. It's been super helpful um, being able to, to manage data lot and be able to kind of get resources where it needs to be much more effectively. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.